It's about 140,000 population on the island, made up of a healthy percentage of retired older people, but also some deep pockets of social deprivation. There's a huge group of people living right next door to us or in estates just over the road where we just don't know people. And that, that for us is the big challenge, getting into those areas. Revitalisation, so that's, that's where we've come from. We moved into this building here in 2011, launched it as Grace Church, so changed the name. And so we just started to look outwards and encourage the church to look outwards and set up a regular expository Bible ministry. It's just been wonderful how the past few years, how just God has been at work in growing the community. A number of people just come to faith, come to know Jesus. We have an outreach by way of a toddler group. People come in and then we invite them on an introductory parenting course. Then through that, that's a stepping stone to do Christianity Explored and so on. So the church is uh, full of different ministries. So there is the food bank here and there are cross groups as well. And there are prayer nights. It's growing all the time. Being part of the FIC has been such a help, actually, in so many ways. Um, so it's been, a, it's been a marker in the ground for us, theologically. Edward Connor and Practical Services have been great. I got to know Steve a little bit, and with the help from the FIC Training Fund, they were able to put an assistant pastor here where there's a, a, a church revitalisation going on, where that opportunity just wouldn't have existed before. We would love to see other healthy gospel churches planted and thriving on the island. So we're looking to establish smaller, healthy churches in several different locations. Mm -hmm.